In this video, we're going to create a user waypoint defined by a VOR radial and distance. Our flight is from Albert Witted Field in St. Petersburg, Florida to Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport on the East Coast. Our clearance is to Fort Lauderdale Executive via crowd intersection, then the 15-mile fix off the Pahokee VOR 315-degree radial, then direct to Pahokee VOR, then direct to Fort Lauderdale Executive. We start at Albert Witted and add crowd intersection. Create our user waypoint. We'll first name it. It doesn't matter what we name it, so I'll just call it user1. When we try to enter it, the system will tell us that there's no such waypoint and ask us if you want to create a user waypoint, and we'll say OK. We come to this screen, which, as you can see, is right now suggesting we use latitude and longitude to create the waypoint. We don't want to do that, so where it asks for our position type, we will change that to radial distance. You will now see on the bottom part of the screen, it asks us for the reference waypoint and the radial and distance. From here, it's only a matter of entering the information from the clearance, like this. Now that our user waypoint is entered in our flight plan, we complete it by adding the VOR and Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Switching to the map page and zooming in, we see our full course, including the user waypoint we created. Thank you for watching.